gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, today we've been called by a customer that has a uh, uh, small box van that has rolled over multiple times. Uh, do not know the extent of the damage. We do understand that uh, there were only minor injuries. The occupants are out of the vehicle. Uh, we were not called by the police department. So we cannot expedite. It is not a uh, uh, an emergency to where we can run red, blue lights, and sirens. Uh, we can only, I mean, we we still want to hurry, but we have to follow all the uh, uh, traffic laws, just like anybody else would. Uh, but I do did understand from the uh, from the customer that their uh, renters were not injured, uh, which is remarkable considering that it rolled multiple times, but uh, I guess we'll get on scene and assess the situation. Not sure if we'll be able to handle it with one rollback or not. It's a, it's a moving van. Uh, if there's a lot of stuff that has been thrown everywhere, we may have to call for another uh, one of our trucks to put put some of the stuff in. No, no, we'll just get on scene and assess the situation and uh, go from there. We'll see you on scene. Wow, we got all kind of stuff, all kind of people here. Can I go look at it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Howdy, guys. Hello. It's full of boxes and furniture. All right. About how heavy do we think? It's hard to tell with one of these, isn't it? Wardrobe? Wardrobe? Yeah, mostly bedroom stuff. Bedroom? Empty that thing all the way up there. Wonder if I ought to get our single axle 20 ton up here just to be safe. Well, pulling it up on its wheels isn't a problem. It's that culvert that it's going to land on once it does. Yeah. Because it's going to have to be pulled up out of there. Yep, I think I'm going to go ahead and get our 20 ton coming. 50 ton, yeah. Oh yeah, I could do it with the rotator easy, but this isn't a rotator job. I might be able to get it with the rollback, but I, I think we're going to need a little bit more horse than just the rollback, and we're probably going to need straps because it's fiberglass sides. I don't want to blow the sides out of it. Okay. All right, bye. Back up to it. Oh man, they're I know. handy. I tell you that's what I want, I guess it's- Is that yours? Yeah. Would, I, would you guys mind moving forward a little bit, please? Thank you.
probably have you move forward after we get it hooked up a little bit. All right. What we're going to do, Talon, we'll get, uh, I've got this chain here. We'll go down low mm -hmm. on one, mm -hmm. and then we'll, we're going to strap it. It's loaded, and it's a fiberglass side. So once we get it lifted up a little bit, We'll put a strap under it, and I'll run a catch strap off of the rollback. And then I've already got the V-bridle up here, so that uh, whenever we get it on its wheels, you'll probably reposition out there a little bit, drag it up out of there, and I'll try to keep that front end from coming back into here with the rollback. First step, let's get her on her wheels. Uh, that the long the loop chain there is for your low hook, and then. Uh, the one that's hanging there is for my catch. You want to run both singles? You don't have a master link, do you? No. Darn it! All right. You want a chain? Well, I want something. I want to double it. I want one up front and one in the back so that we've got that point will come to a V so that we're cradling cradling the bottom side like that. Both ends, that's how your yeah. Pilots do it. That's yeah. Well, I need something to attach up here though. Where it, normally we use a master link, but we don't have a master link on this. Can, can you, I guess we're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Want to speed it all the way through, or how do you normally do it? Yep. Just it? No, just feed it through on this one. Okay. Like I said, I don't have this fancy stuff. So I'm asking. Okay. Yep. Then one of them will get chained. Get chained on the low end. Uh, leaf spring ought to hold it. Something like that. Yep. Hook strap. Yep. This end here. All right. Uh, that strap. Yes, sir. And then this one will go down here. Front, yep. Go ahead. How short or long you want to change, Rob? Uh, short. Like yeah, we want them pretty short. Okay. We may even use a single loop. Okay. Oh, I got it. Oh, man, right there by the gas tank. I'm going for the strap for you. That, that end's going to be a little longer unless you want yeah. to shorten it. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it like this. And it may take some adjusting when we get to get, get center. Pulling. Yep. All right. At least we got adjustment on this yep. end. We're good here. Okay. All right. Okay, Talon. Before you get set up, before you anchor down, go ahead and pull up a little bit. Ah. Uh, yeah, because I'm afraid we're going to run out of rope if we don't. That one will go to here to my catch. That way you can control it yep. coming down. Want me to throw that one over the box? Well, I want to double it back mm -hmm. like that one, except 
they'll both go to the same anchor point. They'll go right in the I center. You just want the strap belt up. Yep. And then we'll go on that single chain in the middle on top. Yep, that's it. Okay. We can either, we can take these in, we can take this in, and, then we can and tie it to that. Thing through it on the other side. Yeah. We'll do that, that'd probably be better. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pull this off the right? Well, now if we're gonna do that, we need to put this in first. Okay. That way it's hanging over there already. All right. Yep, we won't be able to get up, yep, we won't be able to, get up to it. How about that? that help a little bit? Some, we can get past that, there we go. This will catch. That's about center? Yep. Can I chuck that? Yep, just take it over the top. You ready? Yep, go for it. Alright. I gotta go. Can you reach it, bub? Yes, we'll just go straight to my, uh... Yeah, the clip? Right. Yeah, just put the red, yellow clip on it. How short or long you want this chain? I'll give you all of it for now. Short. Short, short. Did About you want like this? That, yeah. Shorter. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Right. Once you catch it on that. Right. Well, the strap's okay. okay. This will fold away a little bit. All right. Now I'm just gonna hook this up here so it don't get caught on the. Yep. Right. Yep. We in good shape. All right. All right. Is that what you want? Yeah, we're good. That'd be the one that will. It is off. Yeah. Okay. Bring yeah, you're going to have to bring that one up a little bit before we can get the strap set. We might have been able to snake it under there, but... One in front end, maybe. I don't know. Let me watch that other side until we get a hold. Whoa. Hold on, hold on. Almost need a strap or something on it, don't we? Can I come across that roof with. Go ahead and bring this up a little bit. See if we can pull that other strap through some more. Yeah, because we can get about three more feet out yep. of it to bring it up over. Yep. Go ahead. Hold. Okay, go. One side. And don't get yourself under. No, nope, no, nope, nope, I'm not. Let's see if we can pull that side. Ah, we may be wasting too much effort on the dead gum strap. Watch yourself. It's going to come up without the strap. Just take it on over.
I should have it. Have to swing the back end. Remember that big heavy piece on the end. Yep. Here's the way you do that. Huh? You do that and you take the strap over. That one's wedged into the spring. Hey, Talon, I'll probably bring you out in the street. That way you've got more of a pull backwards so we can come up out of it. Yes, sir. Well, I can't get to the bridle. I've got another attachment point right now. Okay. I can't get to the bridle. I need to get it uh, get it snugged up though. You go ahead, bud. Clear the culvert? Yeah. Clear? Okay, Talon, go for it. Yeah, 
we'll get into that speed bridle now and we can bring it around. Yep. Got it. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's good! Well, let me see if I can turn the wheel and get it to come around a little bit. Uh, no, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> Go ahead and bring her back a little bit more. Fold you under, reach up and bring her back a little. That's good. We'll get her from here. All right, you hold on to it. Yeah, I got it. Yep. I might be able to steer that a little bit to help it up on there a little easier. I hope so. as I will come forward. Hold up. Here, I should have left it the way I had it. Hold the back end. Now let go. Hold. We're going to have to slide it over a little at a time as we go. All right, let go. You're going to hold your side pretty hard to hit the truck faster. Yeah. I can pick it up yeah. and swing the tail around. Go! I like this way if I just pivot it around. It'll jump right on. It'll jump right on. There you go. Oh. I was gonna grab that, but then somebody put their bed in my way. Alright, watch yourself.
Unless I, uh, no, I, unless I bring my chains back further. I can get it with that, though. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There's the hole, clean and clear. Vehicle out. Uh, apparently the uh, driver did go to the emergency room. We did not know that at first. So as always, I will ask for prayers for my believing viewers. Good thoughts, well wishes from non-believing viewers or any belief system. Uh, right now I'm gonna finish tying down, get loaded up and see what U-Haul wants to do with this thing. Successful. Hopefully they're not hurt too bad. But as always, thank you for watching. God bless.